Hello from my temporary home. I'm at Phillips for the next two weeks until we find an apartment. Um, and I've been sick for the past week, so I haven't really filmed very much. Um, it's February 14th, Wednesday, and I just picked up a new carbonator from the store. It's the new, I think it's called the Arc Pro Carbonator. Philip actually got it for Christmas, but it took some time to like order and arrive. And honestly, I'm so excited because I love crunchy water. I love sparkling water. And um, when they first came out like a couple years ago, I was so sad because the bottles are all plastic. And I really try to avoid plastic. And then this one came out, I don't know, maybe it's been out for like a year or two now, but I just have been moving around. Um, and so then there was an opportunity to get one and I'm so excited to use it. We have like one extra bottle separate and then this is the big machine. Let me angle it down. Can you see? Maybe a little bit up. Okay, you can see a little bit more. Uh, as I have shared before, my box opener. As I've shared before, I honestly am addicted to sparkling water with apple cider vinegar. And. I have been buying sparkly water in, pl in plastic bottles. When I buy them, I get like the really big ones, um, but I always feel like guilty. So, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is very exciting for me. Okay, so this is one of the bottles. It comes with a bottle. Oh, they're so cute. And then I think then the other one I'm sure is identical. I'm gonna just wash them with a bottle brush before using. Get all the weird stuff off. Okay, perfect. So cute. I feel like it is key to have two bottles because you want like a cold one ready to go in the fridge. Um, Okay, well, I just pulled it out like that. Voila. <laughs> it's kind of heavy. Not like so bad, but just awkward. Okay. I think. <sighs> okay, so I have to buy a bottle for the bottom. I'm a little bit surprised. Oh, okay. I feel like I should have showed you that, but like. It was just like that, and then I pushed that and it went down. And I think you just put that there. Like, what, oops. I think you just like put the bottle in without the lid, like once it's full of water, and then you just twist it. I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't wanna like break it, but I'm gonna go and figure out where I can get a uh, carbonator, uh, what do you call it? Carbonation capsule? No, I don't think it's that. Two CO2 canister. I think a carbonation like canister. Um, there's like a button. Okay, well, to be continued. I'm back in the book that fell off the table. There's a little guide on how to do it.
which is excellent. Um, so you just put the bottle under, push the thing all the way down, press the button on top, and then I think if you want extra, you do the little side button four, five, six times, and you're done. You get to go. There's also a book in here. Use your eyes. I don't think I need it. Um, so yeah. In case any of you guys were so curious about how it works. I will be honest, I don't love the, the look of this one as much as the other one. But I love the glass bottle 20,000 times more than the plastic bottle. So I'm, we're happy. I'm happy. Okay, it's evening. Didn't finish setting up the soda stream. I think that there's a plate, like I think you can just get the cartridges at the grocery store. So I'm gonna probably get it later tonight or tomorrow, but there also might be one in the apartment. That being said, going out for dinner. Uh, I, I don't know where we're going, but I just wanted to wear an easy little casual outfit. This is my super vintage fur jacket from a thrift store in Canada. Um, and then this is a thrift, can you see it? Brown little jacket with a collar. And then my necklace that I wear every day. Denim from Skull Studio, just um, navy. Oops. <laughs> I think I'm. It was so loud, so I stopped filming. It's also a little windy. I'm the only vlogger in Colleen. <laughs> I was having this like, discussion with Colleen. The other day, he was like, Do you feel uncomfortable filming? And I was saying, Oh, I wouldn't really do it. He said, Oh, no, I didn't. Um, but on a walk in some random area, so comfortable. Um, but yeah, I had to get some like kind of like niche things that you can't get, like the wind, that you can't get like in the downtown. The downtown is tiny, and there's like three shops. Um, so successful little errand to I have also been horrible at showing my outfits recently so today I have distressed vintage tea a button up to look actually if you need it um I think don't quote yeah no, no I'm pretty sure he made this one this is like an old vintage leather jacket, Philips trench coat. I think it's from like a random market in Turkey. Um, this smells 
of your jeans. My Asics unaffected sneakers. Go ahead, back. Filled with groceries. <laughs> I think <clears throat> it's just funny lighting. Um, oh my gosh, I think it looks crazy. It's Saturday. I had like kind of a slow morning. I did my infrared sauna. Um, just had like a shower, wash my hair, I did everything. I'm gonna just close the door in case the music is loud. I think I'm gonna go meet up with Philip and some of his friends just for like a quick hour um, in town. I'm wearing his vest. Actually, oh my gosh, I'm wearing his Philip. I'm wearing his vest, um, this oversized tee. It's like an old Stussy tee. I don't know, maybe he made this vest. I, I don't know where this one is from. Um, and then these are black vintage dress pants that we bought together in Copenhagen I think before Christmas and like I loved them so much I was like wow these look so hot on you you have to get them and they're not like fully his style and now this is the first time I'm trying them on like obviously this is like this is just like um a shoelace that I think he put on at some point because they are also a tiny bit big for him but like he's he's like 6'2 and I'm like less than 5'5 five five. but they kind of work um or like not they kind of work like they they will definitely be able to work if they were tailored okay I like folded this but like personally I think the like crotch and leg and the um, hang in the material like is 10 out of 10. I like it so much. Um, so I'm gonna get, if he doesn't want them, which he made a comment about the other week, we'll tell her them and these are my new pants. But I think I'm just gonna wear them like I, um, out right now. Cause like I have this oversized look I was trying to decide if I do like these Ayed brown boots or my A6 Cecily Bond scents, but I actually I'm gonna do those ones. Um, I just feel like it's more chill. Both work though. Um, and then I think I'm gonna wear my fur coat. I just added a new fastening to the top so I like the way it hangs I'll show you we are back in the fur coat 
Um, this one, I feel like I've said this, but I got it ages ago at a thrift shop, so it's vintage. I'm not about, I'm not like a fur girl, but if it's like vintage, like, which is more sustainable way of sourcing, then I don't really have a, like, I'm okay with it. Um, basically like vintage for everything. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I added this little snap. It feels tight now though, but maybe it's because I have the, um, I was like trying to adjust. I think it's because I have a, a vest on, but that shouldn't be the reason. Like a vest should be fine. But there was already a fastener on like this side, which is the one that's pulling. The one I added, I added to like the inside of it where there's no fur and it's as far over as it can be. So I think I would have to like adjust the one that was already there, the little hook. But it's nice, like, and then there's another snap here. So it's nice. Um, that one works. And like this one I could do if it was really cold and windy. Um, I think Philip and I found an apartment for March 1st, which is like a week away. <laughs> um, and we just only saw it yesterday, but we had a couple options and honestly, I'm so excited. I hope it all works out. We don't have the contract yet or anything, so I don't want to like get too ahead of myself, but I just like moved into his smaller apartment. I'm sure I've told you, but now it's been two or three weeks and I feel like my stuff is everywhere. Like you can see a suitcase up there and then like boxes and shit over here and like low key it makes me crazy because I just like everything in its place tucked away minimal like my ideal room is like no technology allowed a bed like a lovely cozy bed with all organic sustainably sourced bedding so just like beautiful cozy and then like maybe some bed side tables and basically that's all N don't even charge the phone in the room like nothing um maybe some flowers we could do some flowers in the bedroom but like <laughs> that's my idea of a perfect bedroom just like so minimal and visually i just get like kind of distracted or stimulated with my ADHD and kind of like my visual I was gonna say proclivities but this is not it um yeah like so it just like distracts me and makes me feel like internally flustered so yeah make little sparkles on maybe that's what's making it look like a black eye but like that's my vein I don't know, I didn't have a great sleep last night, so maybe I'm just looking tired. Um, I'm gonna edit vlogs tonight. I'm a little bit behind because I was so sick and just feeling off for the past couple of weeks. Um, and just getting like set up here. It's so different going from doing everything your own way and then living in a city where <laughs> things are just, or the town, <laughs> a very small town, where things are just different, so it's been an adjustment but it, like easy like a happy adjustment but just a like okay i needed like a lot of space and time to kind of get situated but yeah okay this is the outfit with my these ones i really don't want them to drag on the ground so maybe would it be crazy if i tucked them in while i walked maybe Honestly, I could do it on the inside. It's hard when you're like standing and like because the pants are pulled up so high. Did it? No, the tuck didn't work. Okay, I'll have to do this off camera. I think actually now I'm late. Ish. So I will go. And I'll see you in the next clip. Et voila! I kind of tucked them. Honestly, I think it's a great look. 
I've been making my matchas in this giant matcha thing or like glass thing because I've been using like a stand blender to make them and it's been so easy and so good. Like I love doing it in a bowl with a whisk but when you don't have all the things and you're like in between and you happen to have a stand blender, that's the best way. I just do a little bit of coconut milk, matcha powder, water, hot water. Sometimes I add, often I add St. John's Wort tincture, but I didn't have any today. <clears throat> and then, did I add something else? No. Oh, I've also been adding collagen peptides, like these really nice ones I got here. Um, but I also didn't do that today. Okay, now I'm actually leaving as soon as I finish my matcha. I'm heating up a red a stuffed pepper I made yesterday. I'm gonna put it on here. I'm also sorting or like I'm taking all the licorice root. This is licorice root out of this like mint tea because I hate licorice root. I think there's also some apple in there. I just got home a little bit ago from this little restaurant in the center that I talked about earlier. It was cute. It was just Philip and three of his friends. And then they are going to make rabbit stew and like have a little boys night, which is so cute. Philip's so excited to cook. And I just heated up that pepper from last night and I'm making my tea. I'm gonna watch YouTube. I'm gonna edit my YouTube. I'm going to sew a shirt or like tailor a shirt, a vest that I've been meaning to tailor. Maybe go for a walk. I'm honestly quite excited for my like really chill evening. And then last night I also had a little bit of a chill evening. I didn't wanna go for beers with Philip and another friend. <laughs> um, I just wanted to do skincare and finish some work on my laptop, I think. Um, and But then I ended up get, going down a rabbit hole and being up until midnight yesterday. <laughs> and my aura ring is not happy about it. I had like a 70% readiness and 70% sleep. For those who don't know about aura, it's just 70 out of 100, which like isn't great. <laughs> I aim for like an 85. 90 on a great day um so because last night was kind of late um i'm really gonna get a nice early ish maybe like a 10 p.m bed uh, i think it's like five now so i'm excited for a cozy little me time evening and i also realized march 1st is friday and we're saturday so moving six days from now and although a lot of my stuff is still in suitcases i was like oh should i do some organizing um my favorite activity in the whole world is to organize so maybe i'll even do some of that tonight i so also i just got this chocolate i ordered it online and i'm so excited because we know i love 100 percent chocolate and this is chai and rose just lit an incense um, but I haven't tried it yet, and so I think I'm gonna try some. Give me, oh, that's cute. Um, I haven't actually tried this brand, but look at this. So cute. Mm -hmm. 